Hey, yo, what's happening, good people? We are back with another Lux Life, day in the life of Alan Lux Studios. Today is another pretty busy day. Everything is going down here in the studio. Uh, I already had my breakfast and we ain't got to worry about that. But I do have a cup of coffee that I'm going to go ahead and sneak in here. So first up, we have a podcast recording session. Uh, she wants to record on our palette backdrop. So I'm going to set up for that. That's at 11 o'clock. And then we have a maternity shoot that's happening this evening at 5 o'clock. And then right after that maternity shoot at 8 p.m., we have another podcast recording. That one is going to be upstairs, but Randy is going to handle that one. <clears throat> I'm going to handle the first podcast and the paternity shoot. And then later on this evening, Randy can handle that one. So I'm going to drink a little bit of this coffee and then I'll get us set up for the first podcast. Yeah. check it out this is our setup so i got the key light right here back there is the hair light we got the road mic right there two cameras for, excuse me two camera setup so this would be the main camera this will be uh the b camera and then this is our recorder that is going to capture the audio so pretty simple setup Give you this view to see how the subject will see everything so she'll be talking directly here and then this will be capturing her on this side so yeah man not too shabby Just like that, it's a wrap, my friends. You see, quick, easy. She came in here, she killed it. She loves to just be able to come in. We already have the equipment set up and everything for her. I already have her bottled water here. And then she does her thing. You know, she probably recorded for like 28 minutes. And then she was out of here. She did ask me to uh, bring in my plants. She was like, can you bring in one of those fake plants over here? And I was like, <coughs> fake plant? I said, uh, baby, that's real. <laughs> Your boy is the Negro Gardener. I know you don't know that, but I'm the Negro Gardener. Everything over there is real. So I brought in a uh, snake plant and then this um, Dracaena back here. And um, it added to it, right? So it softened it up. So you see this palette. That palette is very uh, masculine feel. It does add a little texture, but it's very hard. So to soften that up, you add the plants, which I thought was a great idea on her part. The first time that she filmed over here, she just had the wall itself. And I thought that when I was um, editing that first episode, I was like, you know, it's a little hard. And I want it personally, because I always want to put in plants. But, you know, for her to say that, I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is going to be nice. And yeah, we are out. I am going to break this down and then i already have the uh photo shoot uh you know the setup for the photo shoot ready so break this down right here head up out of here get some lunch and go take my dog out and then i'll be back here at 5 p.m all right we'll catch you later all right y'all so i already ate my lunch and then i decided i need to uh edit this podcast to get this out of the way because tomorrow i am headed to new york so i don't want any lingering um edits or post processing take care of this now Head over to the studio later for the maternity shoot. When I get back from there, I will edit those as well. Get everything to the clients today so that tomorrow I could just be chilling. Well, no, I can't chill because I got the uh, headshot session tomorrow and I'm going to have to edit those tomorrow before I go to the airport too. Yeah, man, we working over here. So I'm going to get back to this editing and then I'll catch in with y'all later. and 
How Does That Make You Feel, the podcast and platform dedicated to being. Hi, right, good people. We are back like we never left. So, back in the studio, <clears throat> edited those videos, chilled for a little bit. Now I'm here just waiting on the client. They should be here in about 30 minutes. There's nothing really for me to do because I've already got the setup all together. I'm just gonna chill, make sure the restroom clean, make sure I sweep the floor, and yeah, get this shot done. All right. All right, good people. I am finally home. Look at this guy, all in my face. Um, he missed me clearly. But um, I didn't get any footage of the um, maternity shoot. She was a little bit camera shy. So I was like, I'm not going to add any pressure by putting this phone on her right along with the camera. So we just took the shots and I'm going to put one in here just for y'all to see it. Y'all not going to see the people because, you know, for their uh, privacy, you'll just see the little belly shot. Right. Um, so, yeah, I will edit those first thing in the morning, get them back to the client prior to me going to my uh, hair shot session tomorrow. And clearly, I'm going to have to give this guy some attention. So, holler at y'all later.